Hello, it's me. I'm here to talk to you about gas expenditures. This was just to give anybody who might want to go an idea uh, if you're driving, you know, uh, we drove a 2006 um, Chevy Tahoe and we pulled a uh, 4,000 pound, 16 foot trailer. You know, one of the, not teeny tiny, not huge, you know. Uh, and uh, so, if, you know, if you're on a budget, and maybe, maybe you get something that gets better gas mileage than us, you know, I mean, not that it was terrible for what we had, but it also depends if you're rolling solo, I mean, these things would cost a lot less, but, um, you know, you get a little, like my little, I have a little Subaru Outback, and I could probably have got a smaller trailer, and uh, maybe we could have done better on the gas mileage, but man, it's pretty rugged out there, the roads were pretty rugged, you'll see in the next video I post that I've already recorded, this is a retake of this one, because, uh, just because, just because the last one I did like this was, I think I said a bad word, and I might have even said something political or something, which I try not to do, but man, it's so hard. So hard. Um, here's my list. Boop, boop, these are numbers. So anyways, the uh, basically I, I got how much we spent on gas, what the most we paid for gas, the least we paid for gas, uh, how many gallons we got, an average, the average gas cost, you know, I'll just go through it. So what it was, we spent for 60 days, 60 days, um, 11,764 miles is how far. 11,764 miles, long ways. So, I mean, uh, we're, we're planning another trip to Alaska because it was that awesome. This time we went and we kind of did all of Alaska, all the paved roads we went up through Anchorage and Fairbanks and Denali, went down to Valdez, went to Seward, went to Homer, went to Skagway, we went to, there's only a couple of places we didn't go. And that was just ended up being time constrained. Um, I mean, honestly, I can't, we probably could have spent another couple of weeks easily, probably another month. As a matter of fact, there were some some people up there, they were doing 60 days in Alaska, not counting getting there and getting back, just in Alaska 60 days. So, you know, there's you can spend a lot less time. When we go back to Alaska, it's probably going to cost not even half what we spent this time, and I bet, I bet we're not even gone a month. Um, because now we've seen it all, we know what we want to go back and see. Uh, so, 11,764 miles. Granted, we are in South Texas, so it's a long ways to Alaska. I mean, it's 4,400 miles just to the Alaska border. So that's 8,800 miles if we just drive to the Alaska border and back. So I guess we spent about 3,000 miles in Alaska. And we didn't drive directly up there. We made a trip out of it. it we spent quite a bit of time south of the border because I was waiting on my passport. I don't know if y'all remember, but I we left Texas without my passport. Um, found out, and I ended up getting into Alaska or into Canada from Idaho without my passport. So you don't really need your passport as long as you have a enhanced driver's license, which Texas offers because it's a border state, and uh, your birth certificate can get you in. Now then. Once we were in Alaska, my passport did come in. My son sent it to me, and then I used my passport to get back into Canada. Uh, one time they didn't they didn't like that. They were like, well, how'd you get in here without your passport before? Why isn't it stamped? Uh, 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 why do you look like you look? Uh, God. Just judgy little fuckers, the Canadians, man. So, I have a video I'm going to make about that. The Canadian people were the, they were so nice and so polite, just annoyingly polite, eh? Canadians were great, eh? Uh, 
one in particular border guard, absolute douchebag. Ruined it for all the annoyingly over politeness. One guy fucked the whole thing up for me. Anyways, let's not get into that right now. So, gas for 11,764 miles. We spent 4,674 American dollars on gas. I did all the conversions from the Canadian dollar and from liters, which is what they sell their gas in, liters. Um, $4,674 in gas, which is a lot of money to me, considering that the vehicle that we drove up there cost us $3,000 which I have, uh, and it, it's not because we bought a car to go to Alaska, that's just, that's the, that's the income bracket we're in, that's the nice car, mama's car was $3,000, mine was like $1,800, just say it, uh, $4,674 is what we spent in gas in a 2006 Tahoe, which normally gets like 19 miles a gallon. Uh, the most expensive gas that we saw going up there was in Saskatchewan Crossing, which was in Jasper National Forest, which is just straight nationalist Canadian gas. Uh, $6.61 a gallon, which is a lot. Um, that's on the British Columbia, Alberta border, but it's in the national park, so it's not really regulated provincially at all. Uh, in British Columbia, gas was about a dollar a gallon more on average than in Alberta. Alberta, more like Texas, Oklahoma, kind of the Nebraska, the Midwest, Al and then that's Alberta, you know, uh, rolling hills. Uh, British Columbia, more mountainous and beautiful. That's where all the beautiful people go. Uh, it's more like they're California, Washington, Oregon, so they just tax the fucking shit out of the gas and it costs more. Um, the least that we paid for gas was $2.90 a gallon, and that was on July 4th. That was the first the first stop we made out of Seguin. We got to San Angelo and bought gas, and it was $2.90 a gallon. Uh, it's not $2.90 a gallon now. It's $3.40 a gallon now. Anyways, the most we paid, $6.61. The least we paid, $2.90. Uh, we bought 1,096 gallons of gas on our trip, which is a lot. I mean, uh, that works out with $4,674 to an average of $4.27, $4.27 per gallon on average. Now, we uh, got gas 67 times. I didn't wait till I was empty to get gas. I mean, sometimes... I got eight gallons. Uh, when you're on the Alaska Highway, man, you just you don't pass a gas station. Because while, I mean, sometimes you get to a gas station, it's in the middle of nowhere, it's the only gas station. It's not like you pull into a town and there's three or four gas stations that compete on price. I mean, a lot of times down the Alaska Highway, man, it's every 100, 150, 200 miles or whatever, there's a place that has a gas pump and they can just charge whatever the hell they want. Some of them were expensive, some of them were less expensive. They were all expensive. Um, there was a couple of times I had to use the gas I took with me. I took four five-gallon gas cans with me, and there was a couple of times I had to dig into those. Anyways, we stopped for gas 67 times uh, out of an average of 1,096 gallons divided by 67 so average 16.36 gallons per stop at an average cost of $69.76 so basically 16 gallons 70 bucks we did that 67 times um, like I said it was 11,764 miles and we bought 1,096 gallons which averages out to 10.73 miles per gallon, uh, which is, I mean, I guess it's okay when you're pulling your house. Uh, and then just for shits and giggles, what I did was I decided to 
work it out how much that cost us per mile to drive this, you know, so 11,764 miles and $4,674, basically it works out to about 38 cents per mile that it, you know, 38 cents per mile just in gas price alone. Uh, so at 60 miles an hour, you average that out and it comes to $22.80 an hour. So on our trip, if we were in the start the truck, start going, you're on the clock, $23 an hour. And, uh, you know, that's basically it for that. $4,674, $11,764 miles. Long way, a lot of money, but we were able to go where we wanted and we were able to stay where we wanted and took our house with us. You know, it's nice because you're driving out there, you know, just because you can stop and get gas, it doesn't necessarily mean there's a bathroom. There's, I mean, I don't, unless you go to Yukon, how desolate it is in Canada up there on the Alaska Highway, man, it is desolate. You're not guaranteed a bathroom. You're not guaranteed gas. You're not guaranteed food or water at these places you stop. Some of them are just camps for, like British Columbia was on fire and all those places were filled up with firefighters that were out fighting the fire all day and then they'd come stay in these, these, these lodges. It's like lodging. Or a lot of them are rented out to oil company people not executives but like you know the workers I mean, they're out there taking readings or drilling and so you're not guaranteed just because there's a place and it will be the only place and there may not be any lodging for you so i don't even know how you could do this without a trailer or an rv uh without having you are you sleeping in your car uh, actually i don't even think i would drive a car you're gonna want a truck or an suv but uh, that, that's how much it costs. That's a lot of money. It's almost $5,000 in gas, but we went almost 12,000 miles. So uh, it was a hell of an adventure. There's a couple more videos to come, and um, they're all going to be as dumb as this one. Hey.